In today's news, Michael Saylor tells you the best way to escape this financial crisis as the government's given up on you and enough is enough. At least that's in the words of a public congressman, Brian Donalds. Congressman Donald was seen dropping bombshell after bombshell attacking the Democrats and stating their incompetence. As we can see from this video, he states the following, $2 trillion deficit, $30 trillion in debt, 20% inflation year over year and 8% mortgage rates and Washington still wants to grow. Our cities are being overrun with migrants and fentanyl is killing 85,000 Americans per year because of the disastrous policies of POTUS and the Democrats. As he states, enough is enough, we all see through it, secure the borders and eliminate reckless spending immediately. Or, better yet, put in the words of Michael Saylor, how long do everyone realize that Bitcoin is the best way to escape America's looming debt spiral? America's debt spiral isn't just a headline, it's a siren alarm for every citizen. Bitcoin isn't just an option, it's a lifeline out of the systemic quicksand. However, when everyone is looking towards Bitcoin, it's Ripple and XRP that are making these systematically important changes in the background. As we can see from Cyprus here, really great insight into the role the Federal Reserve plays in the global economy. The dollar is not going away, but digital currencies is coming. And you have to remember, Ripple is the only company that provides an interoperable digital solution to these bankers' problems at the concert in 2023. And you have to wonder why. Listen very closely to this video. Um, not that I think the dollar, the US dollar is going to disappear as a pivotal element in the global monetary system. It won't disappear anytime soon. We're talking about decades. In fact, the monetary system which we have at the moment is a hierarchical system. The system is maintained by the US dollar and maintained by the um, Federal Reserve Bank um, as a hierarchical system. The Federal Reserve Bank acts effectively as a global central bank. Um, which is helpful because otherwise the system would collapse. And that's been strengthened since the global financial crisis with a considerable number of um, swap, uh, credit swap, uh, currency swap arrangements. The C6, which is six major banks, including the Federal Reserve and the Bank of England and, and the ECB, I think, um, and the Swiss Bank, that way. Um, and Japan, which is the outlier in the sense, that, you know, in, in some ways. Um, that has also been extended by temporary swap arrangements, credit currency swap arrangements, we have something like 14 other central banks. So you can see the system is constructed in such a way that the role of the um, uh, Federal Reserve is, is extreme, extremely important. Thank you for watching. Until next time, Godspeed, good day and good night.